Dude, I thought you'd be back earlier. Cooper, one of my roommates, grins as I walk through the front door. There's a half-naked chick straddling his lap. We had to get this party started without you. He shrugs as if he's just taken one for the team. It couldn't be helped. I snort as my gaze travels around the living room of the house we rent a few blocks off campus. Even though there are only four of us on the lease, our place seems to be a crash pad for half the team. By the looks of the beer bottles strewn around, they've been at it for a while. I'm seriously thinking about charging some of these assholes rent. Although, I guess if I were stuck in a shoebox of a dorm, I'd be desperate for a way out, too. I played juniors straight out of high school for two years before coming in as a freshman at 20. I skipped dorm living and went straight to renting a place nearby. There was no way I was bunking down with a bunch of random 18-year-olds who'd never lived away from home. Not to mention, having an RA up my ass telling me what I could and couldn't d. That sounds about as much fun as ripping duct tape off my balls. Which is, I might add, the complete opposite of fun. Hazing sucks. And for future reference, you don't rip duct tape off your balls, you carefully cut it away with a steady hand while motherfucking the entire team. My other two roommates, Luke Anderson and Sawyer Stevens, are hunched at the edge of the couch, battling it out in an intense game of NHL. Their thumbs are jerking the controllers in lightning-quick movements, and their eyeballs are fastened to the 70-inch HD screen hanging across the room. I can only shake my head. Every time they play, it's like a freaking national championship is at stake. I arch a brow as the girl on Cooper's lap reaches around and unhooks her bra, dropping it to the floor. Apparently, she doesn't mind if there's an audience. Cooper's lazy grin stretches as his fingers zero in on her nips. I'd love to say this scene isn't typical for a Sunday night, but I'd be lying through my teeth. Usually, it's much worse. Decking out Luke with some impressive video game puck handling skills, Sawyer says, grab a beer, bro. You can take over for Luke after I make him cry again like a little bitch. F asterisk asterisk KU, Luke grumbles. I glance at the score. Luke is getting his ass handed to him on a silver platter, and he knows it. Sure. Sawyer smirks. Maybe later. But I should warn you, you're not really my type. I like a dude who's packing a little more meat than you. My lips twitch as I drop my duffel to the floor. Hey, you see that bullshit text from coach? Cooper asks from between the girls T asterisk asterisk S. I groan, hoping I didn't miss anything important while I was out of town for the weekend. I'm already under contract with the Milwaukee Mavericks. My dad and I flew there to meet with the coaching staff. I also got to hang with a few of the defensive players. Saturday night was freaking crazy. Next season is going to rock. Nah, didn't see it, I say. What's going on? Practice times have changed, Cooper continues, all the while playing with the girl's body. We're now at 6 o'clock in the morning and 7 in the evening. Fuck me. He's starting two-a-days, already? You think he's just screwing around with us? I wouldn't put it past Coach Lang. I don't think he has anything better to do than lie awake at night, dreaming up new ways to torture us. The guy is a real hard ass. Then again, that's why we're here. But six in the morning, that sucks. Between school and hockey practice, I already feel like I don't get enough sleep. And it's only September. That means I'll need to be up and out the door by five to make it to the rink, get dressed, and be on the ice by six. By the time eleven o'clock at night rolls around, I'll fall into bed an exhausted heap. Sawyer shrugs, not looking particularly put out by the time change. Cooper pops the N asterisk 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 E out of his mouth and fixes his glassy-eyed gaze on me. Can't you have your dad talk some freaking sense into the guy? Luke grumbles under his breath, I can barely make it to the seven o'clock practice on time. Nope. 
I shake my head. I'd do just about anything for these guys, except run to my father with anything related to hockey. Coach and my dad go way back. They both played for the Detroit Red Wings. I've known the man my entire life. He helped me lace up my first pair of bowers. So, you'd think he'd have a soft spot for me. Maybe take it easy on me. Yeah, fat chance of that happening. If anything, he comes down on me like a ton of bricks because of our personal relationship. I think Lang doesn't want any of the guys to feel like he's playing favorites. Mission accomplished, dude. No one would ever accuse him of that. Then prepare to haul ass at the butt crack of dawn, my friend. With that, Cooper turns his attention elsewhere, attacking the girl's mouth. Luke eyes them for a moment before yelling, Hey, you gonna take that S asterisk asterisk T to the bedroom or are we all being treated to a free show? Not bothering to come up for air, Cooper ignores the question. Luke shakes his head and focuses his attention on making a comeback. Or at least knocking Sawyer's avatar on its ass. Guess that means we should make some popcorn. I pick up my duffel and hoist it over my shoulder, deciding to head upstairs for a while. I love hanging with these guys, but I'm not feeling it at the moment. Hi, Brody. A lush blonde slips her arms around me and presses her ample cleavage against my chest. I was hoping you'd show up.